Today we will be reviewing the LaPhoto LH40 ball. Now, some of you may remember I did a quick review on the LaPhoto Ranger LS284C for carbon. Uh, this is an awesome, very light uh, tripod I got uh, during the Black Friday holiday on Amazon. I wanted to go ahead and also upgrade the ball head. This is the previous one uh, I had been using. This is a Vanguard Velo BH120. Um, it works very good. It was just very small and not really a super professional like I was looking for. And prior to using this, I was using the Vanguard pistol grip and it's kind of, I don't have them. I gave them to my nephew. I had two of those pistol grip ball heads. I gave him both of those. Uh, he's also in the photography as well. So I kind of wanted to go with Arca Swiss. Uh, the uh, pistol grip had a proprietary mount and I was just tired of the mount. I wanted to go Arca Swiss. So I started with another Vanguard. I, I pretty much uh, only bought Vanguard products. I had their tripods, so I got the head. And well, I liked it. Um, it's okay. Let me just say that. So I wanted to go all in with LaPhoto. So I got a LaPhoto LH40 ball head and uh, let's take a look at it. Um, here's the box, not much to it. We've got some specs on the bottom. 10 year warranty. Well, let's open this thing up. Uh, I like this presentation already much better than the uh, Vanguard. You didn't really get any bags or anything with their head. Let's see what's in the package. So we have we have the tripod mount tripod mount converter. Uh, this is the LaPhoto certification. We've got this little multi-tool here. I don't know what value that little dude brings. You also have a Allen wrench. Uh, we'll see what that's used for. And standard documentation. Let's see. All right, we have, this here is the uh, warranty registration. And I'm always uh, uh, laughing at this because it does, not it does not cover damages caused by humans, whether you're wet or you're falling down. I, I just think that's pretty funny. And it also does not cover natural disasters. So if you get caught in a flood, an earthquake, it may not be covered. And the directions. So we have a uh, level, a main knob. It's not really much to the directions. So let's open this guy up here. I really like this little bag. I'll probably find some other use for it. Yeah, it's a nice bag. I'm sure this is not real leather, but it does have the uh, LaPhoto. It does have the little LaPhoto badging on the front. It's nice microfiber with, I'm going to assume, a pleather base. And there's actually the ball head. It is the LaPhoto 40, which means it has the 40 millimeter ball. Right. And although it's fairly small, I think this has a height of uh, 83 millimeters, which is very small. It has an overall height of 83 millimeters, which makes it a very short, compact ball head. 
Uh, it's seems like it's designed after really right stuff, which I could never afford to get. But, but this seems to be made very well. This little guy supports 44 pounds of equipment. I don't have anything like that. I've got a, a Z7 on order, Z7 II from Nikon. Don't have it yet, so I kind of don't have my camera. I'm hoping to get that next week. The base is 57 millimeters. It's made out of aluminum or aluminum, however you normally would pronounce it. It has a very matte black finish, which keeps the fingerprints down. I'm not able to get any fingerprints on this guy or anything else. So looking at the so starting out, we have our quick release clamp knob, a couple of turns, and uh, the quick release plate comes right off. One of the things. The first thing that I like about this uh, plate is that you don't need a screwdriver to attach and detach this from your equipment. So that's a very nice touch. I hate having uh, to use a coin or something or whatever I could find in my pocket to, to attach these. This is the tension knob. This is what allows the ball head to move smoothly, very quickly, loosely, or you can dial that in and make it um, a little harder to move. The big knob to the left is the actual lock knob. And with this, you can actually lock the head in place. Now, the other thing uh, with this here is that if you tighten it all the way down, it will eff effectively lock this in place as well. So the tension knob and or the main lock knob Either one will lock this ball head into place, but you can dial in the stiffness as much as you like, and you can make it as hard to maneuver, which, you know, depending on how heavy your lens is, you may need that, right? And then over here is the main lock or non-lock knob. On the very bottom is the panning. So you can lock the pan right here and it doesn't turn or you can unlock it and make it rotate and it rotates very smoothly i'm i really like the way that uh, how smooth this rotates so from a uh, review perspective i mean that is pretty much all that there is i think it is a very nice looking tripod head i'm uh very excited to get this out in the field and kind of test this out I haven't really used uh, the um, non-pistol grip ball head in quite some time, so I'm kind of excited. Now, looking at this, if you needed to change this top plate out or you, you wanted to go with uh, maybe a quick release or quicker than, than this knob, you want the lever release or you want to add a, um, or you may even want to add a, or you may want to add a panoramic uh, top plate. This is the key to getting that off, getting this plate off. So let's try this on top of the... Now, I am going to... Uh, if you saw my review of this tripod before, the little Photo Ranger LS284C, You'll know that I'm not exactly thrilled uh, with the with the head mount, primarily because you get this short neck here, and when you put this on, taking this, I, I normally never take my ball heads off my tripod, but I may want to to use this. So I'm going to be looking at some quick release plates for the head, and I've uh, got one on order. So here pretty shortly, I'll be doing a review on that tripod head quick release plate. But this is how this tripod looks with the Lofoto tripod, the Lofoto head. You can just see how easy and smooth that rotates. That's really nice. Then you can lock that in so that it, does, it doesn't rotate. It's not tightened down. I don't have it uh, tightened down, but 
we can lock that rotating, the panoramic rotate. We can lock it from rotating with the right knob here. We can turn around and loosen the ball head and we can get it really loose. You have several portrait positions. Here's one. Here's the second portrait position. Locks in really tight. Although I will tell you now that uh, locking that in uh, does hit the uh, tripod legs, which is, I'm going to say, a design flaw right off the bat. So um, I imagine once I get the tripod head uh, quick release plate in, that ought to pull this up a little bit, and, and it might prevent this from actually touching um, because I have OCD and I like all this stuff lined up perfectly straight sort of like this and this will bug me if I try to not lower that and it falls or maybe actually maybe I have it wrong maybe if I use it this way where I keep the quick release lever up I really don't have any problems at all so this was probably a user error, right? So if you do have this ball head, remember, keep the quick release knob or your lever straight up. Um, so this kind of concludes the quick overview of the LaFoto LH40 tripod head, which is currently mounted on the LaFoto LS284C for carbon. It still is a very small, compact unit. Very happy with that. I've got a, a couple more tripod accessories. There's an accessory port, what they call an accessory port right here. And in the picture, they've got cell phones attached, uh, tablets attached. I've even seen them uh, use an umbrella and attach an umbrella to the side. I've got a nice big umbrella coming out so that you can be out in the rain taking photos and instead of having that cheesy uh, plastic bag over your equipment, you can just put a, an umbrella up and not only is your equipment dry, but you can stay dry. So look forward to that review here coming pretty shortly. Um, I'll probably do the uh, tripod head quick release and uh, the successor report review uh, at the same time. So if you like these reviews, again, uh, this is sort of my photography series. I also cover lots of electronics. Um, I'm a gadget fanatic. That's why I like to do these videos. If you like this type of information, make sure you subscribe somewhere down here at the bottom. Make sure you click that bell so that you get notified when I post new content. And um, thanks and peace. Oh, <laughs>